Hello everyone and welcome to Evolkai, a machine learning community for machine learning enthusiasts. Now today we will be dealing with histogram gradient boosting. So his gradient boosting or histogram gradient boosting classifier is an advanced machine learning technique that combines histogram based feature discretion with gradient boosting. It is designed to handle tabular data where each instance is de uh, described by multiple features or attributes. To understand histogram gradient boosting, let's imagine we have a data set of students with attributes such as age, gender, test scores. Our goal is to predict whether a student will pass or fail based on these attributes. Histogram based histogram uh, based gradient boosting or histogram gradient boosting works in a step by step manner. It works with weak learners, often a decision tree with only a few levels. This initial tree makes predictions, but they are likely to be inaccurate. Now, instead of focusing on the entire dataset, histogram gradient boosting takes a different approach. It constructs histogram for each feature, which divides the features, uh, feature values into different bins or intervals. Each bin represents a range of values, and the histogram counts uh, counts how many instances for e uh, for fall into each bin. Next, the algorithm focuses on the instances that were misclassified or predicted incorrectly by the initial tree. It calculates the gradients or differences between the predicted and the actual values for these instances. These gradients represent the direction and magnitude of the error. Histogram gradient boosting then creates a new tree that aims to reduce these errors. However, instead of considering each in instance individually, it looks at the histogram, it selects the best bins or intervals within the histogram that can effectively reduce the error. The new tree is trained to predict the gradient rather than actual values. It adjusts its structure and parameters to minimize the gradient, which means it is trying to correct the error made by the previous tree. This process of creating and training trees continuously iteratively, each new tree focuses on instances with large gradient and built upon the pre uh, previous, decision, uh, previous tree's prediction gradually improving the overall accuracy. Now finally, when making prediction on new unseen instances, histogram gradient boosting combines the prediction of all the trees in the ensemble. The combined predictions are weighted based on the performance of each tree, giving more weight to the more accurate trees. Now moving to the practical part. Okay, so now first uh, we will start by importing the Pandai's library and uh, we will uh, read the data set using the read csv function and we will get all the data information using the info info function then uh, we will assign all the uh, columns that we have to take from the user and store it in features variable and the prediction class will be store uh, predicting uh, column will be stored in prediction class variable so uh, and uh, their values will be stored in x and uh, for the features and uh, for prediction class the values will be stored in y X will have all the data that uh, our user will give us as the input and Y that it will get it will get as output from the machine learning model. Now uh, this is the training and testing part. Here we have uh, here we have to train here we have to split the uh, data into training and testing part. So uh, here we have assigned test size as uh, 0.30, which is an ideal as we have already discussed in uh, our earlier videos that the testing part should always be less and training part should always be more. So here the training and testing part is divided into the ratio of 7 is to 3. That is 70% is the training part and 30% is the training part. More uh, the uh, model will be trained, uh, more accurately it will predict the results. Okay, so now here we will check uh, the uh, shapes of the data to uh, check if the train test, uh, test split has done its work correctly or not. Okay, so now we have reached the most important uh, part of our uh, coding session. So we will import his, gra his gradient boosting classifier from ensemble library and assign it to a classifier variable. Now we will fit this classifier variable with the training data. And when the this data is trained, we will, pro uh, we will calculate the y print on the basis of x test. So uh, now we will import matrix from SQLearn and using the accuracy score, we will try to predict the accuracy on y test and y print data. So we can see that the accuracy we have achieved here is 
okay so now uh, we will move to the visual studios and get uh, the practical implementation of what we have learned till now okay so now we have come to our visual studios now first we will import pandas library here so let me just uh, run all these snippets okay it is running so i'll explain you the code line by line so first we will import the pandas library then uh, we will imp uh, using the read csv function we'll uh, read this data set that is in csv uh, that is that is a csv file then uh, using the info uh, function we will get all the informations uh, information of this data set that is what are how much its entries are what are the number of columns what are their data types if any value is null or not null then we will uh, define two variables that is features and prediction class i have told a different method of doing so in my earlier videos so you can just check it out uh, now in features we will get all the uh, all the column names which we can which uh, we will be asking to our users and prediction class will have uh, the column names which the model will give us as the output uh, now uh, in x we will get the all, get all the values of the prediction class and in y we will get uh, sorry in x we will get all the values of the features that is uh, sepal length sepal width and others defined above and in y we will get all the values of the prediction class columns uh, that we have assigned above now from sql hundred model selection we will import uh, test uh, test train split now this will split the data into the defined size that is 0 0.30 here that is the data set will be split into 70 to 30 ratio where 70 percent being the training part and 30 percent be, uh, being the testing part now uh, we have printed uh, the printed the shapes here so you can uh, just uh, take a quick look at, uh, here so we can see that the uh, training part is more and the testing part is less now uh, from uh, sql.insemble that is insemble library where we will import his gradient boosting classifier and we will train this classifier with uh, the x train and y train data uh, now since the model is trained on this uh, on x train uh, on the training data uh, using that model we will uh, predict the data on the x test uh, values and will store it in y -print. Now uh, we will import sklearn. Uh, we will import metrics from sklearn, and uh, using the accuracy score function, we will uh, calculate the accuracy. Uh, we will calculate the accuracy of this model. So here we can see that the accuracy achieved there is ninety seven point seven seven. Now since this is using histogram uh, histograms for boosting uh, the classifier, it it gives us an edge over the uh, gradient boosting classifier. Now as I have told earlier. Uh, when the uh, testing and predict, uh, prediction values will be saved, the accuracy will increase and if not, the value will decrease. So this was it for the coding part. Now uh, we will be moving to the presentation and we will conclude the video. So, Okay, so uh, we have reached the conclusion part. So in conclusion, we can say that histogram boosting classifier is a super smart tool that helps computers uh, understand things better like telling if something is a cat or a dog from their pictures. It is like having a team of friendly robot detectives who work together to solve tricky puzzles. The clever things ab uh, about this classifier is that it learns how many it learns from examples just like how kids learn from their teachers and friends. It looks uh, at lots and lots of pictures and learns the special pattern that makes cat and dogs different. Then what? Uh, then when it sees a new picture, it remembers what it learned and decides if it's a cat or a dog. The histogram boosting classifier is fast and can handle big jobs like sorting many pictures at once. It's like having a super fast superhero helping us. So with this smart tool, computers can now understand pictures like magic and tell us if it's a cute cat or a playful dog. So uh, this was it for this video and thank you and happy learning.